Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, my name is Theo and this week I want to briefly talk to you about how to choose a Cambridge college. Do I need a haircut? Yeah, I think I really do need a haircut. So I'm a student at Clare College, Cambridge. It's now Thursday, almost the end of Michaelmas term. It ends tomorrow. Tomorrow I've got my uh, meeting with my director of studies. And that's it for this term. It's been about two weeks since I last interacted with you directly. Last week I had a um, study with me, real-time study with me video up on Friday, which uh, I hope you enjoyed and I hope it helped you uh, study more efficiently. Uh, but uh, this week I really wanted to um, talk to you again. So I thought I'd talk a little about how to actually choose a Cambridge college before applying. Um, it uh, can seem quite difficult, but uh, I've got some good tips for you. So here they come. So when you're applying for Cambridge, you will be asked to uh, either choose a college or make an open application. It's always recommended, and I recommend that too, to apply for a specific college because even if that college doesn't accept you, uh, you still have the chance to get pooled and uh, picked up from the pool by um, another college who uh, needs an extra student and uh, it, it might be you. So I really recommend taking the time to research the colleges a bit uh, before applying and uh, make an informed choice. So you should definitely choose a college to apply for rather than making an open application. Now the number one thing to remember when choosing a Cambridge college is that you shouldn't do that based on academic considerations. And this goes back to how the collegiate system works. So what the college does for you is it um, ensures your accommodation and um, your tutor and your director of studies are from the college and the college mainly takes care of the administrative side of your life in Cambridge. Now on the academic side what it does is that the director of studies who is from your college ensures that you've got supervisors for all your modules. Many times supervisors are fellows of your own college but not all of the time and uh, that's okay because that's just how it works, not every college uh, has fellows on each and every subject that you're studying in your undergraduate degree and it's only normal that you've got supervisors from uh, around Cambridge, from around the Cambridge colleges. So um, this year for example I haven't got any supervisors from my own college and that's totally fine. You will always get the best teaching staff for your subjects, uh, no matter what college you choose, which is why you shouldn't choose your college based on academic considerations. So now, if the academic side is not that important when choosing your college, then what should you take into account when choosing your Cambridge college? Now, I chose Clare College because of how friendly and welcoming it seemed to be, and also because it uh, supported musicians a lot. But little did I know how good its location was and how much I'd like its architecture. So there are many things that go into choosing your college, but um, now, retrospectively, the first thing I would look for would be the location. Now, while most of the Cambridge colleges are situated around the city centre, uh, there are a few of them which are further away, uh, like Girton, Homerton, Jesus even. It's not that far away, but for Girton and Homerton, you'll definitely need a bike. And um, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I would uh, definitely consider being uh, as close as possible to where my classes are going to be. Now, I remember I didn't know before coming, before arriving here, I didn't really know where classes for my subject would take place, but I got really, really lucky because Clare College has um, an old building next to the uh, King's Chapel, uh, actually behind King's Chapel, uh, right uh, in the center, and then the newer building, uh, which is this one I'm in right now, uh, the Memorial Court is literally two minutes away from the lecture block where my um, MML lectures are taking place, that's modern and medieval languages. For me, I found this to be the ideal situation because uh, Clare College has uh, one foot on one bank of the river Cam and one foot on the other. Because it's got its own bridge, it's really easy to get to the city center and to go shopping, or partying, all that. And um, also, uh, this building where all first years live and where I chose to live in my second and fourth years as well, 
uh, is really really close to Sidgwick site which is where uh, lectures for many many subjects take place like history, law, languages, um, philosophy, theology and um, uh, yeah that's uh, kind of it. Uh, yeah. I'm really pleased with this location. There are also other colleges which have uh, bridges, uh, but they are um, a bit further away down the river or up the river. I should check that in which way the river Cam is flowing. St. John's College uh, has a really beautiful uh, view from the windows of the Bridge of Size, the only uh, covered bridge in Cambridge. Trinity College has its own bridge as well and it's quite close to the center and really you will be pleased with the location of any college that is uh, quite close to the city center. Don't get me wrong but I'm a sleepyhead in the morning and I'm really happy that my room is uh, literally two minutes away from where the classes take place. <laughs> now apart from the location you might want to take into consideration the age and the architecture and the feel or the vibe of the college. I've really been liking that word lately, the vibe. Um, Clare College, the old building of Clare College, is the second oldest in Cambridge. Uh, the, the oldest college in Cambridge is Peterhouse. You can really feel that, so I went there uh, for a meeting once and I had to duck every time I had to go through a door uh, because people were so short back then in uh, 1280 something. The old building of Clare College is from the 1300s and it's a really beautiful and um, medium sized building and the chapel is really beautiful. You don't uh, really notice it uh, but it's in all those classic pictures of Cambridge because it's right behind King's Chapel and you can see it in the pictures taken from the Cambridge backs. There's a very big restoration project going on this year in Old Court in Clare College and it's now covered in scaffoldings all over the place but um, I bet it's worth it because um, restoration is uh, needed every once in a while for such an old building. So there are these uh, really old colleges and um, St. John's um, feels uh, older and uh, Trinity feels old as well, Jesus College, Emmanuel College, um, Corpus Christi, these are all uh, classic old Cambridge colleges. You might like that, I really love it, but there are also other options in Cambridge. Uh, there's uh, Fitzwilliam College and Churchill College, for example, which have quite modern buildings. They're from the 60s, maybe even newer than this building, which is from the 30s, I believe. So yeah, based on whether you like the older vibe or the more modern vibe, you should choose accordingly. And uh, also note that Fitzwilliam is a bit farther away, and Churchill as well, they're a bit farther away from the centre. So, so around the city centre you'll mainly find colleges with older buildings and older architecture, and really beautiful architecture in my opinion. Um, you really feel like you're in Hogwarts around here. Now the third thing you might want to consider when choosing a college is what I considered when I chose Clare College in the first place, which is um, it's um, a focus when it comes to uh, leisure and societies and uh, free time activities and um, players focus on music attracted me to it uh, because I'm really into music it's my biggest passion apart from my degree obviously just for the record but Claire is ideal really if you're studying uh, classical music or if you're into choir and um, the Clare Choir is world renowned, they do a world tour every summer and uh, they record stuff with the BBC and whatnot. Uh, they're, they're just amazing, but uh, really any other musicians uh, feel really at home at Clare. And one weird thing is that the music rooms are right next to the library and you can hear music in the library. And um, personally I like that because I was in an arts and music school in uh, middle school and uh, we'll always hear piano and um, flute and uh, violin or cello sounds during classes. It really brings those memories back when I hear music when studying in the library. Um, and it's really not that disturbing. Only ex except maybe when people play drums. But that doesn't really happen that often. As I said, Clare College is really focused on classical music.
So I, I really suggest finding out about societies at the various colleges if you like the location and the vibe of a certain college or of a couple of colleges then uh, try to differentiate them by um, researching a bit more in depth on the page of the uh, student union from that college you can find what uh, sports uh, you can or the different kinds of art that you can get involved with or um, different kinds of activities but if you're really into something but also really like a college that doesn't have a society for what you're into I wouldn't feel disappointed because um, in your second year you have the chance to build your own society to, to register your own society and I think that's a great opportunity to enrich the life of your college if you really like its um, other features and that's a way to bring your own input to the community because in the future there might be other people who really love that college and really love what you love and by creating a society around that you give people the chance to uh, do some more of what they love in their free time and um, be at your college as well. And that's a really nice thing to do. So yeah, that's basically it from me on this topic. Uh, choosing a college shouldn't uh, be that difficult. You shouldn't dwell on it uh, extremely much, uh, but you should definitely make an informed decision. But one more really important thing to keep in mind is that there are more similarities than differences between these colleges. And you will get the Cambridge experience, whichever college you choose. That being said, I'll leave you to a beat that I made this week, or a baby song as I call it. And um, you can feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends so that they know how to choose their uh, Cambridge College in their applications as well. And um, please don't forget to subscribe because uh, as you probably already know, it really motivates me to keep doing these videos and to uh, interact with you and uh, bring you these student vlogs, which I really enjoy doing. I hope you enjoy watching them. See you next week. Bye.